one of the nice features of this coach is the low uh, entry door uh, so you don't really have to do much of any steps to get up into the coach however when uh, you open the door there actually is a couple steps up to get into the coach itself now that does kind of present a bit of a problem so I get turned around here when you want to exit uh, the top of this uh, door is basically at, at eye level and you have to stoop way down in there to open up the the, uh, the, the door so one of the things that uh, we're going to install to help make it a little easier to open the door is this um, Camco uh, RV screen door crossbar and we plan on putting the crossbar maybe oh, a foot above the the um, latch right there and maybe that'll give us a little bit more of a better handhold to, in, uh, to exit from the inside of the coach. Okay so now um, I want to kind of test fit this thing and the one thing I wanted to make sure is that there was plenty of room from this bar and it looks like there is so I think we're looking at something like that so uh, yeah I think that's going to work out real nice. So I guess the uh, first step is to measure the height and then uh, drill a couple pilot holes and uh, install the bar. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to get this width. And I don't have to move this open, or I only have to widen this a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is drill one pilot hole here. Okay, drilled the pilot hole in here, and then I'm going to put the first screw in this bar. And what this does, this establishes the length of the bar. So now that I've got this one in, i got to measure, and I'm just going to do this by hand, or by, by eyeball. And uh, basically I'm just going to check where this goes. About there, like that. Okay, and now we'll drill the other hole. Now you may want to actually follow the directions rather than do it the way I'm doing it, because uh, you know you got you want to get it in exactly in the right spot. But you know I'm to the point now in my life where. Directions are optional, I suppose. Okay, so I'm gonna take a piece of tape here and use this as kind of a marker. And we're gonna go up about six inches from here. So that's gonna bring us just about there. Now you don't have to be exact, exactly six inches or whatever dimension feels good to you because once we put the first one in, we will measure the same distance for this side so we'll get it equal. Okay, and then when I uh, sized this, I made sure I left a lot of room on the outside here. So, what I want to do is kind of bring that level and bring that up. Looks pretty good right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a small mark like that. Okay, it again. Okay. There we go. First. And I'm starting with the bottom side. Okay, I put the screw in here. I measured, make sure this is level, and I put a clamp in here to help hold this down so that I can put 
the next uh, pull in. Now I'm not using any kind of a center punch, so what you do is put a lot of pressure on this and start out real slow. Make sure you get the thing level. Okay. Now I can take this off and then do the other do the other two. Okay, there we go. The screen door bar. It just barely fits here. Just barely the, got enough clearance, which is fine. Same thing with here. And uh, if I didn't say before, this is made by Canco. And it's item 42183. And so when you come in and out, you can hold on to the bar as you come in and out, and that makes it a whole lot easier to open when you have to contemplate stepping down in here to open and close the door. So uh, if you have this style of a door in an RV, you may want to invest in one of these bars. Thanks for watching.